Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a dancer slash singer. Her name is FK Twix. So if you don't know her, she's a singer in England. She's a little famous. She's more famous for dating famous actors than she is for her music. But she's a personality in England. So she participated to a podcast. She was able to give her opinion on how people reacted when they knew she was dating the Twilight star Robert Pattinson. She said that people were mean to her. They were right out mean. And she recalls racist bullying from Robert Pattinson f fans. They said mean things to her and very racist stuff to her. They called her all the names in the dictionary, compared her to a monkey. This is what she said. He was really, really deeply horrific. And I think it was at the time where I felt like I couldn't really talk about it. I feel like if I was going through that now, I would be able to talk about it and do some good with it. The singer said that she wasn't sure if the hate she got was because of her age or whether it was because of a social climate or whether it because of being black and from Sheltenham in the UK or from a low income having to genuinely work twice as hard at everything she did to get to sit at the table. She also said that she received some racist imagery as she explained. Say if I was wearing a red dress they would have a photo of a monkey in a red dress or if I was on a bike they would find a monkey on a bike. I just remember it had this massive dysmorphic effect on me for about six months to a year where every time I saw my picture in photograph I would think gosh I look like a monkey and people are going to say that I look like a monkey so I need to really try and hide this monkeyness that I have. That's sad actually what she's saying and she called those comments ridiculous but she said at the same time it affected her psychologically and it was deeply unfair at the time that she was to feel so self-conscious and so ugly. I mean, it is so sad. It is so, so sad that people are still stuck in the past and they're using racial slur to abuse a young and beautiful woman. They're using that because she happens to be dating their Prince Charming. Maybe they were seeing themselves with Robert Pattinson. At the time, he was quite a big celebrity. He still is, but at the time, he was the Twilight guy. He was the sexiest guy alive. So people were identifying with him and they were dreaming about him. So maybe they expected him, him to be with a blue-eyed blonde girl, but it didn't happen. He find himself in love with a mixed race girl from England and people didn't get that, people didn't understand that. This makes me think a bit about the treatment that Meghan Markle received when she was dating Prince Harry and when she married Prince Harry. Yes, I'm turning this into a Meghan Markle story again because this is true. This is exactly what Meghan Markle is going through. Much of the hate that Meghan Markle is receiving right now is from people who maybe thought they would be the next Princess Harry of Wales who maybe loved Princess Diana and have a little chip on their shoulder and didn't expect a biracial woman to be dating their prince. And then you have onto that those very racist people who don't think that black blood should be mixing with the white blood of the royal family, although the royal family is more mixed than we imagine. So I think that that story resonates a lot with people who've been dating high profile white people and they happen to be other, other as in being maybe black, maybe biracial, maybe Asian, like uh, Yoko Ono. So I think that it kind of mirror what Meghan Markle is going through at, at the moment. And I think it's so sad. Coming back on Meghan Markle, she is with her friends. She decided to remove herself from the situation and move to the US for the time being. We could see how Meghan Markle was struggling. And people kept saying that, no, it's not because of her race. Yes, it's definitely because of her race, because she's being accused of something she hasn't done. And most of the things that she's been accused of were actually lies from the tabloids. And people in the royal family had done worse than what she supposedly did, but they're not treated like criminals. I'm thinking about Sarah York, for example who was publicly shamed for having a public affair and even Sophie Wessex which I'm going to make a video about in a few weeks so yeah there's something wrong and I feel sorry for FK Twix let me know what you think okay tell me if uh, all these women I referred to or cited here are wrong to think that it has anything to do with their race yeah please let me know hope you like this video feel free to click on like if it's the case subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video thank you